Well, Erica, the police appeared to have that driver cornered, but he then hit a building and then also hit several police cruisers and nearly hit a trooper as well. So he was able to get away briefly, but then police caught up and took him into custody. After a police chase down Route 1 in Revere, the suspect vehicle comes to Carter Street in Chelsea, where police begin to close in. The driver of the Black Infinity backs up and then rams into a cruiser and then down a dead end street. He just struck my cruiser as well. He was stopped at the end of the street and just struck my cruiser. That's when this cell phone video picks up. The driver at the end of the street. Oh, he's going to try. The driver hitting a building, another cruiser, and nearly hitting a person. Oh, my God. Witnesses looking on and speaking with us off camera. Car when he was driving off was probably going 70 to 80 miles an hour down a pretty uh, quiet road. The suspect somehow escaped. Police chasing him through Chelsea, where he is seen here climbing on a sidewalk toward Everett. He was driving on the sidewalk in front of Encore. Going down the wrong way, down Broadway. Police following him into the Encore Casino, where he is cornered. Oh, Witness taking this video as police wrangle with the man later identified as 40-year-old Dennis Penny of Dorchester. His Infiniti smashed up, along with four police cruisers and several civilian cars. Obviously, the guy didn't have a care in the world. He could have hurt somebody, killed somebody, just like this happened. So I am thankful to the Massachusetts State Police. Glad they caught him. Now, the suspect was taken to the hospital where he is expected to be released and then booked into state police in Revere. He's also expected to face several vehicle charges, drug charges, and assault charges. Aside from him, luckily, no one else was hurt during this whole ordeal. We're live in Chelsea. I'm Peter Eliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5.